Everyone knows that you must not drink and drive. Is that all we need to be aware of with regard to alcohol abuse? My name is David Van Rijk. Today I'm going to talk about a lesser known legacy of drinking. Just imagine, it's been a long week. You and your mate would like to finish the week in the pub. Just like everyone else. So, a few beers becomes a big night out. Including dinner. You have a plate of chips. But as well as that, the chef serves that famous French delicacy, goose pâté. Do you know how pâté is made? Well, you start off with the goose, and you feed lots of food, until they become very fat. Fat geese make fat livers, so the birds are killed, and their fat-enriched livers are removed. And you can see how fat-enriched they are, because instead of being red-brown, they're yellow-white. And that yellow-white is the fat in these livers. These fatty livers are processed, and mixed with salts and spices, and there you have it. Elegant goose pâté, plated out, to entertain your guests. Impressive. Well, hold your appetite for a second because if you abuse alcohol, you can get a liver as fat-filled as those poor geese. How would you know if you had alcohol-induced fatty liver disease? Well, it's actually hard to tell. Indeed, the fatty changes that can occur with alcohol ingestion may be completely without any symptoms. At worst, you may feel a little bit of abdominal pain and tiredness. But all the time, the fat in the liver is leading to liver cell death, like here. So you start off with this beautiful, functional liver with lots of active, happy hepatocytes, you end up with this disaster. This, these changes can go on common, um, till the person dies. Commonly they die of liver failure, severe bleeding, or kidney failure. So how long does it take to get from a nice healthy liver to that disaster I just showed you? Well, if you start drinking heavily from your early 20s, you will need a liver transplant by the time you turn 60. You're not alone. In Australia, 41% of us drink weekly. And, in fact, 15% of liver transplant cases are due to alcohol abuse. Women are more predisposed to alcohol-induced liver damage than men. What can be done? Ditching the hot chips and the pate won't be enough. Indeed, studies suggest that even people with pretty good nutrition can get fatty liver disease if they abuse alcohol. What should be done then? Drink less. The Australian recommendation is no more than two standard drinks a day. And have at least two alcohol-free days a week. And aim to drink less than three standard drinks if you're going out to a party. 
that's it. So, take home message, drink in moderation, and um, try and enjoy the goose pate. Goodbye.